Oh, pressure? Oh, pressure? Pressure? No, I'm perfect! Folks, we're here with some Guilty Gear Strive. It's been a while since I've been on the old Guilty Gear train, but we just got a new DLC character who I think is very, very exciting and has really pulled me back into the game, and that character is Testament. So what I thought I'd do for you today is I'm gonna run through some of the things that I've seen and some of the things that I've found for Testament that I think make them a really, really powerful character with a lot of potential. I'm gonna explain some basic strategies for the character that I think will carry you very far in matches and then we're gonna hop online and see how it goes testing it out against some real people so the first move i want to talk about and this is a banger this is gonna be far slash okay testament far slash is an insane move this move controls so much space on the ground and really is going to make approaching from the ground hard and you know if the opponent decides that they want to air dash over it and try to come at you from the air testament also has a very good 6p anti-air as well one thing to note is that 6p anti-air since it is upper body invincible 6p anti-airs will beat this move a lot so the opponent can try to 6p you if you're just spamming far slash but they do have to be careful if they're just throwing this out you know they might be at risk of like getting hit by a crouching heavy slash and if something like that happens, you know, the opponent is going to have a bad time. You're going to get a lot of damage. So uh, 6P is a good answer to this move, but there are plenty of ways to counter that as well. So once you've got the ground locked down, once you've got your opponent's approaches halted, uh, you're going to have a lot of great ways to apply pressure with Testament. I think Testament's pressure is a little bit insane. Um, they have so many ways to be plus on block. So let's talk about the first one here, which is this ground projectile. Uh, you can see this move can be charged to make it go much further. Uh, or you can just do it uncharged and it'll go like that. So this move is going to be plus in a lot of situations. So you can use this to uh, lock the opponent down if they're respecting it. You can also set up the charge version to hit them right when they wake up. You can see the second hit of the projectile is going to be right on top of the opponent when they wake up so that way you can keep pressuring with plus frames after that and the other important aspect of this move is you can see it leaves this little succubus on screen for just a few seconds and that is going to impact some of your other special moves so first of all if you use testament's teleport you will teleport over to where the succubus is and then second of all this is probably the most important move in testament's kit is the bird throw unholy diver so you can see uh, the bird is going to go horizontal not really hit the opponent but if you have a succubus on screen the bird flies to the succubus so one reason why this move is so good is because it is going to be plus on block so after the opponent blocks the bird they can't jump out they can't press any buttons or they are going to get counter hit so uh this is a major aspect of a way to stay plus on block with testament and you can see the other thing that happens when they block or get hit by this bird they get this sort of purple aura on them and then anytime they are hit or block something while they have that aura there's going to be an explosion that takes place so this is an extremely powerful effect and maybe the most important thing that testament is going to try to do is try to get this aura on the opponent because then all of a sudden any stray hit turns into a full combo or any move on block will essentially become plus on block if the opponent has this aura on them you can just hit them with anything and use that as an opportunity to mix up and this lets you combo off some pretty crazy stuff so like uncharged dust for example all of a sudden you can combo off it if the opponent has this aura on them that again it comes from throwing the bird or also testament's ground super with the succubus this will also leave them with this aura on them so this is called Stain, the Stain debuff, and yeah, if you can get your opponent to have Stain, you are going to be living it up, doing so much damage, setting up so much pressure, making all your attacks more plus, and giving you tons of combo opportunities. So this is a really, really powerful property that Testament has, and I feel like combined with these giant screen-filling normals, really, really safe projectiles, some tricky mix-up using teleport, there's just a lot going on with Testament. We definitely haven't figured everything out yet, but there is a lot to uncover and a lot of fun stuff to be done with this character. So I'm having an absolute blast playing Testament so far. So what do you guys say that we hop online and see if we can get some matches and see if we can really bully people and uh, make them explode. Should be fun, so stick around and watch these matches, guys. By the way, guys, if you like the Guilty Gear content, it would really help me out if you could go down and hit the like button. You don't have to smash it. 
you can just gently, you know, du maybe double tap it, triple tap it, I guess. So if you double tap it, you'll like and unlike. I don't know, guys. I'm just trying to fill time. We're here on the loading screen. If you could subscribe to the channel if you're not already, that would help me out too. But it looks like we're getting into a match with a Happy Chaos player here. Don't have too much matchup experience against this character, but should be fun regardless. So you can see we're really trying to poke it out here with far slash. What was that? Gold burst. Accidental input, perhaps? But now the bird is out. So you can see we get that explosion into combo while the bird is there. The bird also gives us that aura, which lets us get nice plus frames. And we get the wall break. Guys, it's all going according to plan. Let's go. And we got the the sweep combo. All right, a perfect, a perfect to start things out. All right, I respect it. He's got we we've got our own goop aura on us now. Bird is down, but good avoidance. So I think that that's like a big mini game that you're gonna have to play when you're fighting against Testament is avoiding the bird, because once they throw the bird once, they can't really do it again until they set up the succubus again. But okay, we got the bird hit. And we totally failed to capitalize on the explosion, but that's fine. Full screen projectile coming in. Bird. Avoided the bird, but got swept instead. Alright, big counter hit. Ooh. Going for... Okay, combos. I see you, bro. Bird is out. Okay, explosion time. There we go! You can see it right there, guys! The far slash into explosion for the kill. So yeah, he was starting to do a better job of avoiding the bird uh, in round two, but... Uh, in general, you know, it's just such a powerful tool, you can make yourself so plus. So I think I'm gonna change it up a little bit, and now when I have the succubus on screen, I'm gonna try to do far slash and then call the bird. So it's gonna be a lot harder to avoid, and it's gonna be like a built-in frame trap. Especially in the corner, that works like so well. Nice combo, bro, with the wall break. And didn't use up too many bullets either. Alright, so now we can do... The succubus was not nearly far enough there to make anything happen. Ooh, infinite block string. As long as you got the bullets for it. Ooh, the bird avoidance. I'm doing the exact thing I said I wasn't going to do. Which is make it easy for him to avoid the bird. Alright, so there you can see we can block string into the bird. Keep plus just forever. Whoa. That was a little bit awkward. We were just like running circles around each other. But you know what? I'll take it. Man, this game's online really holds up, man. I gotta say. After all this time coming back to this, I was amazed first of all with the online, but also with the graphics too, man. And I got a new monitor, so I'm playing on 1440p now. The game looks pretty incredible. Alright, the bird is out. Good uh, punish there, or good uh, challenge attempt, that is. A little too far from the reticle to make that bird connect, but bird is out again. Ooh, smacking me again! Perhaps I'm getting too obvious with my, my post-bird pressure. I'm just gonna burst that. Ooh, full screen projectile gets stuffed! Okay, signs of life from the happy chaos player. But I've, I've got some plans. Yeah, he's just running away from that reticle as much as possible. Which is a, a smart strat, I will say. But now we got the bird bonus. We got the explosion. Set up another projectile with the wall break. Pretty good. And now we can just super at the start of the round. Watch this. Get him, ladies. There we go. Even though we got hit. The sucky buy we're still at. So not a bad start, I would say. You know, a little swift 2-0 there. But uh, let's see if we can find someone else to run this game plan against and see if it still works. All right, looks like we got the mirror. Uh, turns out a lot of people are playing the uh, brand new character. So let's see who has better control over uh, their little devices here. 
our animal friend. Footsies. Good avoidance on the bird. Wow, lucky counter hit. I'll take it. I'm sure there's probably better air combos than that. I just really like that one. I don't really know what to do here, so I'm just gonna teleport up and block. Went for dash up throw. Oh! That was sick. Utilizing the, the, the 6H. A very long range poke. Kind of slow startup, but... Perhaps didn't need to burst there, but... Ooh! Okay, and I got posed on right at the end. Dude, Testament's animations are so sick. I think I might be in love with this character. Uh, I thought I could get a bird going there. No such luck. Nice use of 6H from the opponent, I will say. Alright, they still have the stain on them. So, yep, we can pressure like that. Bird is out. Ooh, I tried to dash forward there. Ballsy, perhaps. Ooh! Alright, there we go. We got the, the 6P anti-air. Yes! 6H anti-air! Let's go! Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive in this, guys. We got the we got the blazing song happening in the background here. Ooh, 6P whiff. Nice avoidance on the bird. So again, we're gonna have to kind of switch up how we go for these bird setups. So there we can go for it on block there, but we we're actually a little too close. Yep, 6P. Gonna dash up throw here, set up charge projectile, psych. No, I missed. I refuse to get burst baited. Go birdie. Chompers from the top. Oh no, I went for chompers from the bottom, but I was getting rushed down already. Oh! Bird! <laughs> Bird kill. <laughs> oh, this is way too much fun, man. This is way, way too much fun. Uh, even the mirror, you know, mirror matches, a lot of people don't like them, but it's kind of interesting having to play around each other's ridiculous range, play around each other's projectiles. Whoa! I teleported directly onto a projectile. Perhaps not the smartest move. Ooh, the bird didn't reach, but we got the counter hit. Not able to combo off it, though. They managed to jump out of my bird setup there. Oh my gosh, good challenge. Oh, jeez! I'm getting smacked around here. Okay, but we got the big counter hit this time. The Chomp Super, Invincible Super. Yep, yep. We're seeing a little bit of everything this character can do, you know? So that's cool. Yep, 6P them out of 6H. <laughs> what a counter hit. 6P again. Bird on block, now you explode! Too far from the corner to get the wall break. 6P when they get close like that. The angels are out. I think I have to RC to not get hit here. Hold this mix. Yep, we block the dust. 6P again and they explode because of the stain state. Let's go. Alright, match point for me. Let's go. I uh, legitimately forgot which one I was for a second. I'm purple. In case you guys couldn't tell. 
Oh, nice throw back into the corner. Oh, pressure. Oh, pressure. Pressure. No, perfect. Uh-oh. We're 1-1. One, one. We're 1-1. One, one. Oh, no. I was hoping to end it there, but I just got put in the corner and completely smoked. Damn. All right. Oh, I went for 6P, but they had the low on block or on, on lock here. All right. I just straight up didn't block high on that jump in. All right, there we go. Dash up throw, set up charge projectile. Keep it simple, stupid. Just going for far slash and other such good moves. Wow, the full screen counter hit. Oh no, I tried to YRC, but I got hit instead. There, my YRC actually missed. <gasps> oh my god, my projectile anti aired. Thank god. Okay, okay, I'm not nervous at all. Why would you guys say that? I got this, I got this in the bag. Dash up throw. Seems like the opponent getting a little caught off guard by my throws. My succubi were not in the spot I needed them, but now they are. Chompies from above, yep. Sometimes you gotta pull out some new tricks in round three, you know? In game three, that is. Dash up throw, we got him, okay, nice. Convincing win, guys. So yeah, hopefully, you know, that'll give you some ideas of what the character's capable of. Again, we're just scratching the surface. We barely even used teleport, barely used the high-low mix. So there is a lot of stuff still to be discovered for the character. But for now, I'm having an absolute blast. And I think Testament seems very, very strong. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you excited to play the character? Have you been giving them a shot? And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.